For book one, proposition number 40 of Euclid's Elements, equal triangles which are on equal bases and on the same side are also in the same parallels. So if we start with two triangles that we know are equal, triangle ABC and triangle DEC, and if we draw some line between the points A and D, which we can do because of postulate number one, then what we're trying to prove is that this line AD is parallel to this line BE. So to prove this, what we first want to do is make an assumption and show that this leads to some type of logical contradiction. So let's assume that the line AD is not parallel to the line BE. And if AD is not parallel to BE, that means that some other line is, which we can construct. Because of book one, proposition number 31, we can draw a line through the point A that's parallel to the line BE. So let's draw that line. And we can label this point here and call it F. So we know that the line AF is parallel to the line BE. And let's connect the point F and E. So we just created the line FE because of postulate number one. And now notice that we have these two triangles, ABC and FEC. And we know they have equal bases and they end on the same line which is parallel to the bases. And we know because of book one, proposition number 38, that these two triangles are equal to each other. So let's write that, that triangle ABC is equal to triangle FEC. But we already know that triangle ABC is equal to triangle DEC. So due to common notion number one, we know that triangle FEC would equal triangle DEC. Triangle FEC equals triangle DEC. But here's where we run into a contradiction because we already know due to common notion number five that the whole is always greater than the part. And see that this triangle FEC here is only a part of this bigger triangle DEC. So we can also write that triangle DEC is bigger than triangle FEC. And something can't be both bigger than something else and equal to it. These two things can't be true at the same time, so we have a contradiction. And this contradiction implies that our assumption was wrong that AD is not parallel to BE, and that basically leaves us with just one possibility, that AD has to be parallel to BE. And that is exactly what we were trying to prove so we can end with QED.